How's it going guys? This is Fired Fox Gun here and welcome back to the Crazy Cooking Vlog. Now today I am going to teach you guys how I make my uh, my asparagus. Um, I actually do a fried, just a, a nice, simple, easy fried asparagus and uh, it's actually really, really good. And I know that there's a lot of people that out there that don't like asparagus, so uh, mainly the reason why a lot of people don't like asparagus is because of the fact that, that somebody, whoever gave it to them first, overcooked it or didn't cook it properly or didn't get in, give it enough seasoning or something like that that actually changed the flavor of it and if you overcook it, it tastes absolutely hideous. So I'll teach you how I do a bind and uh, you guys can try it out again for yourselves and see if you actually like it. So give me two seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, so biggest thing that, uh, that people do is they either try to overcook it or do something crazy with it but the the whole point is to just be simple with it and being simple with it just means using a little bit of salt maybe some pepper and oil now I don't have this on yet but basically you want to turn it turn your uh, turn your temperature up to about uh, about mid temperature ish on that burner there, that's about mid temperature there. And then all you want to do is just let it sit for a little bit. Actually, I'm going to turn this up just to make this go a little bit quicker. While we're waiting for the uh, the pan to heat up, what you want to do is you want to take your 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 uh, asparagus. Damn it! I keep on forgetting what the hell this name is. Well, you don't want to take your asparagus, and you just want to kind of cut off the ends because the ends are not really what you want to be eating. Um, and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the flowery side, that part there. I'm talking about that, the butt. So wherever it's it's really hard, you can actually kind of feel it. If you go all the way down the butt, the, the base there, you can actually feel where it starts getting soft. That's where you want to cut off. So you take your knife and you just kind of go through until you hit that nice soft spot, and then you cut that off. And that one is good to go. So you just do that to all of them. Now the other way that you can tell to tell where it is is if you actually look at it there's it's basically right where it starts getting really really green where you get uh, where you kind of lose that white or that uh, that kind of pinkish point it's all the way down here and that's the, that's where you want to cut off All right, so that's pretty much all that I need for uh, for the for my dinner. So if you guys want more, if you guys want less, that's up to you. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to take these and we're going to go and put them into our pan, which should be nice and hot by now. Okay. Um, actually, I, what I forgot to tell you guys was that I'm actually using a I'm using coconut oil, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. So, um, this is not a sponsor, but I love uh, Kirkland. It's the Costco brand, basically. So, pretty much no name brand. It's not a, not a plug towards Costco or anything like that, but Costco does have a lot of cool stuff. Um, anyways, uh, my pan actually might be too small for this. But, if you need a little extra oil, this is the time to put it in. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more oil because you want a nice, nice thin layer over the entire bottom base of your uh, of your pan, especially if you're using a cast iron. You definitely need that little bit of extra oil just to make sure that nothing sticks. Cast iron pans, if you season them on a regular basis and you actually keep good care of them, they will actually be really good for you, and they will actually create they'll actually create almost like a a, a non-stick kind of coating all the way around it, anyways. So what you want to do is you want to take a bunch of your uh, you want to take a bunch of your asparagus and actually just before you do that what you want to do is you want to take some sea salt there we go some sea salt and what you want to do is just grind a bunch of that into the oil and then kind of stir that up mix that up so that it's it kind of covers the entire area and what you're going to do with that is basically coat all of your asparagus 
in the oil and salt to make sure that it actually sticks. All right, then you take your, your asparagus, and just plop it in. Just plop it in there, but you want to make sure that it's all that pretty much all of it is sitting on the ground, on the base of your pan, and then you want to roll it around so that it gets all that nice salt and oils all over it. Just like that. Because of the amount that I'm actually doing, I'm going to have to do this in two, two different stages. Um, but it is going to turn out just fine either way. Now, uh, what you want to do is actually, you want to be careful with ones that are very small like this. Because um, otherwise, they're probably going to cook way faster than the, than the thicker ones, like this one like this. Um, that one's going to cook a little bit, a little bit shorter. So you got to double check. You, get, you always got to pay attention to all of them, always at the same time. So as you uh, as you cook them, you want to just keep on making sure that they're not getting too soft. Once they start getting way too soft or start start going a little brown, that means that you've started to overcook them. You need to get them off the heat like immediately. So we're just going to let that simmer for a little bit. Um, if you want to add in a little bit of extra sea salt, that's good as well, just to make sure that everything is nicely coated. Plus it gives the next, whoops, whoa, I didn't realize there was that much in there. Um, <laughs> it gives the rest of the, it gives the, uh, the, the next batch as well. If you have to make two batches, it'll make sure that the next batch gets well coated as well. But you definitely want to have them well coated in salt and the oil to make sure that, uh, they cook evenly and they are nice and tasty. The other thing that you can do is either add in a little bit of black pepper as well, or uh, the other thing is uh, is peppercorn. Or whatever seasonings you actually want to use. Um, I would per I would suggest not going crazy on the on the seasoning. Actually, I'm gonna use black pepper for this. Just because it seeps in a little bit nicer. There we go. Plus, it's not as spicy for my kids and my wife. There we go. And always make sure that if you get clumps of salt, just make sure that those kind of get mixed in and they they're coated. So what you can do is you can take a little bit of a little bit of the oil and just kind of drizzle a little over top. But that should be good. And once that's done, I'll show you the finished product. So, the problem is that I have with these is that, uh, remember how I said that there's different sizes and whatnot? There's half of these are actually done, and half of them still need a little bit of work, like this one. That's almost there, but not quite. This one is pretty much done, and these ones are definitely finished. Now, see, how, see what I mean by, like, it gets a little bit too, it starts getting really, really wiggly? If it starts getting wiggly like this, there's a problem. So, we've got a little bit of a problem with this one. That one got a little bit too soggy. So what I actually have to do is I have to take these off, like now. So, when you take them off, what you want to do is just take a little piece of uh, paper towel and a plate and just move them off to the side. Just like that. It also had a little bit to do with the fact that some of these were not on the on the heat. They were sitting on top of the other ones, so they didn't uh, they didn't quite get as warm as others. The way to avoid that is to use a lid or to use a container that has a lid or a larger pot or a larger pan that uh, that actually has enough space to hold all of your asparagus, which is, a, which is a great way of doing it. The other thing that I was just thinking about too is that this is also a really good recipe for a quick barbecue side dish as well. Um, and all that you actually have to do to put it on the barbecue is just um, fill them with tin foil. Like, put them in tin foil, um, and instead of using oil, or actually I guess you could use the coconut oil as well, but um, what I normally do is use salted butter, and then add a little less sea salt to them. 
because the salted butter has the extra salt already in it, it helps to kind of coat the uh, coat them evenly. And these ones, this one is definitely done. Now again, you don't want to overcook these, so you don't want to get them like super super wiggly. But this, that wiggly is pretty much good enough. Yep, perfect. That one is going to be mine. And always double check, make sure that you're uh, you're tasting your food. So always like, see if I've got one like this. Oops, here it doesn't have the top on it. Hmm. Mm. That's perfect. Now you can still taste a little bit of the of the bitterness, which means that I kind of overcut that one just a little bit. But again, like I said, part of the problem is because I had it too. I had too many of them in there at the same time. Because what you actually want is something more like this, where every single one of them is actually sitting on the ground at the same time, or sitting on the pan, and then you just roll them around. But always make sure that when you bring them back, they are all sitting down if you go to leave them or whatnot. All right. So there you go. That is our, that's my asparagus recipe. So thanks guys for watching. All right, so thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this kind of stuff and definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And uh, leave me some comments down below letting me know what kind of stuff that you guys want to see me cook uh, in uh, different, re in uh, other videos or uh, what you guys want, uh, or if you have a specific recipe that you want me to try out, let me know in the comments down below as well. And, until the next video, take it easy.